Okay, so it's been a long project, and let's just walk through it. I'll show you what's up. This is my bud. Hey, fella. What's up? He's been helping me out. And, um, okay, here's the, uh, there's the throttle bottle. You can see the uh, thermo axle el uh, element is gone. The spring, all that stuff, I just took it off. There's a little, oh, there's a nice little um, bushing there. Gone. Um, here is a coolant line. That's capped off. There's a coolant line right there, <laughs> capped off. Same deal back here. And there's the return line uh, capped off. And um, the distribute, you know, I retarded the vault, I retarded timing, <laughs> turned it that way. And um, that was before I, I found all the coolant in the uh, airflow meter. So put the, put the uh, time back to normal. No big deal. Uh, what else happened over here? We've got the fuel pressure gauges off, new fuel filter in. Um, you know, the, this, this airflow meter, I pulled it out and it was loaded with coolant. Don't know how that coolant got in there. I got to figure it was through these, you know, fast idle solenoids or whatever. Coolant goes right through here and out the other side. Uh, so it comes up through the manifold, intake manifold right down there, through this guy right here. Cleaned everything out with clean air, blew, uh, blew it out with compressed air. And um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, I feel, you know, worse, it would be terrible if the coolant was blasting up through this crank, this crank ventilation tube and into the, down into the valve and the bottom of the, Throughout about it. I took all this out, looked for coolant, really didn't see anything that, um, I mean, it didn't look, it didn't look clean as a whistle, but, um, so I cleaned it up. I took it all apart, cleaned it up with a brake cleaner, you know, so if something, if something, um, if the thing shuts down on me again and I pull that, and I'll take it apart and look at it, you know, and then I'll know if uh, coolant is coming up <laughs> through the head. That would be real bad news. Uh, all right, let's set this. Uh, let's set the camera down. We'll try to shut. We'll try to start her up, and uh, see how it goes. All right, guys, hold on. Set this beast right here. Let's get behind the wheel. Move over, Buster. good news it's running so you know it sounds pretty good I will uh, maybe change the oil today change the filter put it all back together and call it a fix and we'll just I'll just keep my fingers crossed you know and um, we'll see what happens if, so, if it breaks down again I'll know where to start you know what I mean um, it did I did get home with it it didn't leave I didn't have to have it towed it's idling at about a thousand RPMs. I usually, I just, I was goofing around with it before I found the, the problem and I, I changed the idle adjustment screw. I'll leave it like that for right now. I don't know why, I just feel like doing it that way. Alright guys, I'm going to post this on the internet and uh, we'll see you on the webs. Yeah, baby. Talk to me.